Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I was reading The Hill uh, just now, and uh, I went to the Environment and Energy, Energy and Environment section page, like I normally do, and then I was scrolling down to kind of see if there's anything about nuclear, and then I saw this. This is very interesting. Where'd it go? Uh, maybe I scrolled too far. Or maybe it's already on the second page by now. It's talking about, let me go to page two. Uh, Senate targets EPA dumping permits. That was quite interesting. That's going to screw a lot of people as far as Oak Brothers. Oh, here it was. The House to take up border security and human trafficking next, right? So then you scroll down and look at this says, border bills would roll back environmental laws. Wow. Border security legislation introduced by Republicans in both chambers of Congress would waive a host of environmental and wildlife laws near the Mexican border. The bills are part of the GOP's attack on President Obama's actions to stop deportation of certain illegal immigrants. In an effort to better ensure the Homeland Security Department can keep the border secure from various threats and illegal immigration, the bills waive certain public land protections, protections for endangered species, and other restrictions. It is a fundamental responsibility of the federal government to ensure the territory of this nation is secure against any illicit entry and concealed threats. Concealed threats, that's a fucking NRC, the nuclear industry, they're the concealed threats. But on that account, the government has failed consistently. Homeland Security Chairman Michael McCall, Republican of Texas, said Wednesday when his panel met to approve the bill, which he sponsored. Senator Ron Johnson, Republican of Wisconsin, Chairman of the Home Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee, introduced similar legislation to the Senate. Republicans say that various environmental land protections make it difficult for security officers office officials to patrol the border, build infrastructure, and take action necessary to keep out threats of the country. Really? Like what? Listen to this. The bills would waive more than a dozen laws, such as the Wilderness Act, the National, Envir the National Environmental Policy Act, and the Endangered Species Act within a hundred miles of the United States border with Mexico. These people are insane. In addition, the bill said that the Interior and Agriculture Secretaries who oversee various land management program, program, agencies will not impede, prohibit, or restrict activities of U.S. Custom and Border Protection. Since 2006, the Department of Homeland Security, the Interior, and Agriculture have worked under a joint agreement that prioritizes border protection over environmental rules. But Republicans say that's not enough. You know why it's not enough? Let me show you this. How far is San Onofre to the Mexican border? Hmm, 72.33 miles. So what this is really about is giving a free pass to the nuclear industry because San Onofre is becoming an eyesore to the entire nation. It is going to cause massive problems. This is such bullshit. We have, I mean, I hope everybody who lives in these states, Wisconsin, and what's the other guy? Where is he from? Probably Texas, no doubt. Yes, Texas. There he is. People in Texas and people in Wisconsin, you got to call these guys and tell them they are off their mark because San Onofre is less than 72, 75 miles. It's less than that 100 miles. And we need these three bills to keep us safe from the San Onofre monster that's growing. So anyways, I'm going to stop here and get to work. Ciao, you guys.